Now, this sort of interesting play comes here. Um, he min raises. Did the min raise impact you three betting at all? Um, um, if you would have made it 150 or 175, which would be a more of a standard open in the cutoff, would mm-hmm. you be more likely to, to call or um, would you always be three betting here? Um, well, uh, having no actual reads on the guy, what, what, I, what I think is usually coming from fish, this is usually, this, I mean, this can, be, this can be like premium hands. This could also be some hand they just want to take uh, post flop, like a suited connector type hand. Uh, right. So what I what I like to do, even not, even not knowing for sure what his range for doing this is, given the small opening size, I just I just rather you know like three bet him, take the initiative. Uh, given that I have jacks, there are some over cards that I might be afraid of, so I j- I like taking out of the pot the other two guys, um, and and then just have him react uh, to me instead of me like trying to guess if he's on a some type of bluffy. Uh, uh, betting or if he's value betting me or something so is your plan to go with a hand if you're a four bet uh no 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 if if i'm four bet uh with, with no further reads i'm probably just folding uh jacks here okay um i don't love that strategy um i definitely like trying to get him i think he will call a lot of three bets out of position because he is a fish mm-hmm. uh, but at the same time i don't really like the idea that we're going to be folding jacks to a four bet. Um, throw in the small fact also that we do have a short stack behind, a short stack uh, pro, I'm guessing, behind us. Yeah. That's probably going to be shoving over us a lot of the time. And I think I prefer a call here, particularly mm-hmm. with that strategy. Um, the other thing that you have to consider is that he is playing 37 9. And while there are a few fish that just get completely bored and will be raising their. You know, really crappy, uh, really bad hands like three four suited or three four offsuit or something like that. Yeah. For the most part, that nine percent of hands is probably going to be towards the strongest part of their range. So I think in general, if you're not happy, if you're not um, satisfied just um, five betting, if you're going to be three betting, then mm-hmm. the better scenario is just to call mm-hmm. in position. Um, while you're right that he does have a really wide range, and in some regards that's not a great thing because it's going to be tough to narrow it down at the same time he has a wide range so we're gonna have a lot of value with our hand as well right. um you know and if there's two over cards then we might fold by the turn jacks or something like that but for the most part i mean he's a poor player and we shouldn't at all be worried about playing right. you know in position against him right so i think i think in general um right it's not uh, it's better. not it's not something something uh, uh i do a lot like uh Three betting, three betting um, with intention of folding to a four bet. This kind of hand, I mean, game mm-hmm. theoretically speaking, it's not at all the best thing. But uh, most of these guys have such an un- unbalanced play that that uh, oftentimes I can really get away with it, knowing that I'm folding uh, completely crushed and like safely folding, but making sure that when we go post flop on a three bet pot, I probably have the best hand the majority of the time. Um, I think you're right, but I think for I think while even their four betting range you might be right about, um, it's probably going to be just hands that beat you. Um, we still don't know if they're not going to be four betting ace, queen, ace, king, tens, nines. Um, and it really dep- it really is player um, dependent. Yeah. But just starting out from a basic strategy and not knowing really much else about the player, um, I think that we should be looking at this as an opportunity just to call in position. Um, particularly when you throw in the fact that this guy can uh, squeeze all in behind us yeah. with probably a really large range, um, I think it becomes a really nice spot to um, to just call. Okay. And we isolate here with Queen Deuce suited. Um, really good play and something that we talked about in the, in the last video a lot, but we should just be doing this a ton of the time. Um, really good board to continue with, even if we don't have any backdoor draws. And we should expect to take that down quite a lot of the time. Um, on queen seven three there, if we get called by the fifty four four, are we done with the hand, or are we going to continue, or does it matter, or um, is it dependent on what the turn is? Let me back it up just a little bit here. Uh, yeah, please. <laughs> um, okay. Um, on king seven three here. Yeah. Well, um, his stats do say that he folds uh, to most flops, like uh, so eighty six percent of the time to most flops he bets. <laughs> So given that I have, I don't have a lot of, uh, I don't have <laughs> any, almost any raw equity, uh, I'm probably just giving up, I think, 
Uh, I mean, his range is just going to be so wide. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I could try barreling uh, something like a 10 or a jack on the turn. Um, yeah, I definitely think that those would be your best barreling oper- barreling cards, just for the fact that I think he's going to be calling with a decent amount of um, uh, semi-good ace-high hands, so something like um, ace-nine, ace-eight, ace-jack, ace-queen, yeah. hands like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that's a pretty good use of stats there. 86% folding the flop is really a ton. Um, if it was against a different player, um, and particularly against a different 54-4, I would be pretty much inclined to double barrel any card, just because I would think his range is something like, you know, ace, any ace highs, you know, pocket threes, uh, a pair of threes, pocket deuces, hands like that, yeah. that are easily going to be folding the turn. So, um, I think that's just a good use of stats there, though. But he's just folding too often that, and I don't really expect him to fold the turn when he fold, when he's not folding when he's folding the flop that often. Um, yeah. Even if he has a seven, I think he's probably going to get probably a little stubborn with the seven. 